created Antarctica, obviously not, not quite as cold as it would be. Now, for anyone who's not sure, Antarctica is the size, it's 58 times the size of the UK, so that's a very, very big place. And as Mitch was saying, the average temperature there is minus 49. And when you attempt to cross it on your own, you're pulling a sledge weighing roughly the weight of three large men in a bathtub. I mean, that's quite an incredible thing, on your own, to cover such a distance. What on earth made you want to do that alone? Well, I don't like doing things alone. On this occasion, I had to because the other people from other countries were doing it alone. But it's pretty stupid normally because there's no one to push, pull you out of holes if you get in them. But the main reason was a charity reason chosen by the patron Prince Charles and James Dyson, the inventor of vacuum cleaners, who is the sponsor of the expedition. And he, because his parents died young of cancer, wanted to raise money for... Britain's best known breakthrough, it's called breakthrough breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And although we've got um, one in 12 women getting it and a thousand women dying every month, there isn't a research centre. So what we're trying to do now is to raise money to build Britain's only research centre. Now you wanted to raise three million, and obviously because you got very ill and all that, you, raised, you still raised 1.7 million, which is quite yeah. astonishing. How are you going to raise the rest of the money? Are you going to do another expedition? Uh, no, we're using um, various means in Britain. One is the children, the kids, who have done wonderfully so far, but they can now start doing even better. Um, if they ask their teachers who aren't already doing it, the 600 schools are doing it, they can get involved. They learn a lot of geography about Antarctica as they're doing it, but they use patchworks, old clothing and so on to make special things. They can uh, do sponsored adventure story reads. All this is going on at the moment, 600 schools. And if you're not doing it so far, you can ask your teacher to start. Excellent. Now, uh, when you're out there in the middle of Antarctica and you're all on your own, what is it that keeps you going? I mean, is it a thought of home? Um, you know, I mean, the thought of, that you may achieve, you know, another world record? Yeah, you are trying to beat the other people who are doing it. Um, it's a sort of physical challenge. If you've got scientists along, like Dr. Mike Stroud, they are learning things which they can't learn in the studio. They can't get volunteers long enough for 100 days to be on a cold treadmill, for instance. And um, you're also trying to be the first to get wherever it is, if it's Antarctica or the Arctic. Now it's pretty much done in those areas, so I'm switching over to hot deserts. Uh, exactly. I was going to say to you, what's the next thing in the pipeline? What's, what's your next um, challenge? We're doing a thing with Land Rover, which we've been preparing for about three years, which involves, amongst other things, making Land Rover swim in the open sea in storm conditions up to about 4 6. At the moment, we've got them going very well in sort of slightly rough seas, but they need a bit more. Would you say you're an incredibly brave man? Uh, no, not really. Uh, my wife doesn't think that at all. Um, uh, but I like, when we're choosing people, I try to make sure that they're not too wimpish. You know. Right. Well, lots of people are going to be asking questions later on. Before you go, you have brought with you this fabulous tent here, which we're giving away um, as a competition prize. We also have three runners-up prizes of um, a backpack, a T-shirt here, and also a hat. Whoops, drop that into the snow there. Oh, freezing. Um, to give away. Now, the question we want you to answer is, Saranov pulled a sledge across the Antarctic, um, and it's normally, sledges like that, are pulled by a breed of dog. Now, which breed of dog are famous for pulling sledges? If you think you know the answer to that, write it on a postcard and send it to the usual address, which is Live and Kicking, PO Box 8181, London W12 6LA. Now, I know there's an awful lot of people out there who would like to ask Saran off a question. If you would, this is the number to ring. 018181181. There we go. You're going to stick around for the rest of the show in that hot seat later on. A bit warmer than Antarctica, hopefully. Uh, right now, though, it's time for another blood curdling adventure with Spider Man and the Vampire Queen. Also